I never saw moons, knew the meaning of the sea I never held the motion in the palm of my hand I felt sweet breezes in the top of a tree Hi, I'm Joe Boyd, a regular customer. I'm very happy to be here. I always find great stuff at Amoeba. These days, most of my listening at home is to vinyl. But there are, of course, things that come out that you can only get on CD. Daphnis Prieto. You don't have a separate section for him, but you probably will need one in future. He's, he won the MacArthur Grant, $100,000 MacArthur Award Grant for great individual artists. He's a Cuban drummer who I met through Yosvani Terry, who plays sax on this record, who was on the Cubanismo records that I made that came out on Hannibal. And Daphne, he started as a conga player, and now he plays a drum kit, and he's just like the new genius of the drums. You know, Tony Williams, forget about it. Uh, I've been meaning to get the Bad Plus for a long time. I'm so lonely, but that's okay. I shaved my head. And I was just in Minneapolis uh, the day before yesterday doing a kind of Nick Drake event with local singers singing Nick Drake songs. And Wendy Lewis sang, and she was terrific. And then she told me that she'd been doing a world tour with the Bad Plus, so I decided that would be my first Bad Plus record. Now, I don't pay attention to new bands that much, but when I was getting ready to do a Nick Drake event at South by Southwest, I was asking the people there and other people, like, who that's going to be at South by Southwest might be cool to sing a Nick Drake song at my event? And they said, oh, the lead singer of Phosphorescent. Well, apart from things so I went and listened online. I thought they were really good. And then he couldn't do it because he was doing a gig exactly the same time. But then I saw them in the parking lot of the San Juan Motel. And I thought they were great. And uh, I got some expert advice from the Amoeba staff that uh, this one, the middle one of the three, was a great record. I'm going down to LA on Monday to do a Q&A at the Grammy Museum. And they wanted me to see if I could get somebody to come in and sing a uh, Nick Drake song. So I got in touch with Lucinda Williams. I found the love I've been looking for. It's a real love. It's a real love. This was the very first person to ever cover Nick Drake, the first major artist to cover Nick Drake. Which will you go for? And so I haven't got her new record, so I'm going to see her on Monday, so I thought I better listen to that before I go. And this is a record I've had before. This is uh, Radio Tarifa. Rumba Argelina. And I was looking for it the other day in my collection. I couldn't find it. So here it is, 10 bucks. I buy it. This looks like um, an old, it's, oh, actually, I didn't realize it wasn't a South African pressing. Shanaki, but still, I don't have this Lady Smith Black Mombazo record. And having them on vinyl is always good. This is kind of a legendary record, Mongo Santa Maria, going back to Cuba. And it has a kind of very exotic and collectible phrase on the back that says, as if this is a good thing, recorded under the personal supervision of the Fidel Castro regime. <laughs> you don't want to advertise that in your Miami branch. Together again with Ivo Papazov and Yuri Yunakov. I made records with Ivo Papazov in Bulgaria for Hannibal back in the, the 80s even. And, um, He's incredible, and this was a fantastic band. Salif Ali is a great drummer. He and Daphne Spreto, two of my favorite drummers in the world. And um, Yuri was the sax player, and I wrote some letters that helped him get his green card to come to America. And he's the very, the only Bulgarian who's ever gotten a visa to come live in America based on racial persecution because he's a Turkish gypsy. And the Bulgarians were very 
hard on gypsies in general and Turkish-speaking gypsies in particular. This, Gilberto Gil, Soy Loco Por Ti America. Alô, alô, se chacrinha, velho guerreiro, alô, alô, Terezinha, Rio de Janeiro, alô, alô, se chacrinha. Which is a very cool song of his. And I just don't have this record, and I, I, I'm a little light on Gilberto Gil in my Brazilian collection. This is kind of a curiosity. Uh, it's a live recording at one of the very early WOMAD festivals. And it's got Tumani Diabate, who I worked with a lot. It's got Van Morrison. It's got Toots and the Maytals. It's got um, the House Martins. Flaco Jimenez, weird collection, live on stage. It's kind of interesting. King Sunny Ade. I mean, I've got the first one. This is the second one that Martin Messonnier produced for Island. It's the second one made by Martin Messonnier. And the first one is great in a way, but it's really strange mix. And this one I've heard he kind of listened more to King Sunny Ade and did a better job of the mix. So that goes in the collection. And this is another one like that Ottoman one. It's like immigrants, Eastern European immigrants, dances in America from the 20s. I love this kind of stuff. You know, I have a lot of that uh, Yazoo series about the, what the golden treasury of the world or something like that. They have all the series of old recordings. Anyway, that's, that's the kind of stuff I like. All right. And thank you so much for being here today. Okay, pleasure. And a gown of calico for me to wear I'd surely get a sweetheart, a prince or a king A palace home where I